episode hey what was that about oh like what I don't what even happened in this episode I already forget <laughs> it was so forgettable well we were in Paris so obviously it was romantic speaking of romance Lauren B got the first one-on-one -on -one date and I don't think we've ever seen a more boring date on a season of The Bachelor the crazy part is they had a very intense conversation. Like Ari shared that whole history with him. Yes, and how his ex-girlfriend was pregnant and like, it was a crazy story. Like crazy story, but how did the date still manage to be so boring? I, I was kind of rooting for her in the beginning, but I, I think she's just, and she, then she kind of had that meltdown at the end of the episode. Yikes. That's not gonna end well for her. Then we had the group date and they went to Moulin Rouge, which was really fun. My favorite part of the whole group date was that Leslie was on it. <laughs> Um, when they were doing the choreography and Tia was just like, nope, nope, got nothing. I absolutely love Tia. I think she's probably my favorite now. But Becca and got the rose on the group date and they got to be in the show together. Uh, Becca with blonde hair, Ruby pointed out, very cute with blonde hair. Yeah, um, I think this is gonna be great for her acting career that she's <laughs> obviously pursuing on this television program. Um, also, my favorite part of that whole date was when they panned to the ladies in the balcony and they were all just like, All right, then we perhaps had the most awkward, weird two-on-one date we've ever seen. I really like Kendall. I think she's cool, but her whole speech that she gave Crystal about how she has empathy for her and how Crystal, I don't, what did she say? Like she needs she to be, you've been through so much, but you're not a good person. I don't know. I, at one point I was like, is Ari even on the date or is the date between Kendall and Crystal? I just loved how she was like, you need to be more real. And Crystal was like, uh, <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then out of nowhere, Jacqueline pops up. She's amazing. Like, Jacqueline was so fun on that date. She was such a good sport about the fact that Ari hated her dress and made her go get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit weird. Uh, I really like Jacqueline. Yeah, I think she's good. Like, I feel bad for her because she's, you know, has feelings for Ari. Gross. I think she's, again, like many of the women on this season, too good for Ari. Uh, but she definitely gets my award for nicest hair. Mm. God, she's got good hair. All right, next week on The Bachelor, it looks like everyone has a meltdown. <laughs> Tears all around. I can't imagine what's going to happen. I think that they all just realized how dull Ari is, and they're sad about how much time they wasted. But at least they're going to be in Tuscany, Ruby. True. All right, we are getting closer and closer to this. In the comments section below, uh, let us know who your favorite is. It seems like Ari has a lot of favorites. He tells every girl what they want to hear, and it's confusing. We can't tell who he likes because he says the same thing to every girl. You're amazing. That dress is so nice. And I have to say, right now, I think with Crystal going home tonight, I think all of the women left are really great, actually. I don't, yeah. I don't think we've ever had this many women left, and all of them seem really great and too good for Ari. Uh, so post your favorite below. And just for leaving a comment, you've got a chance to win a prize back from Jam jar and tickets to our finale party. All right, and we need to have a moment of silence for Crystal, who was the villain on this season, and she's finally going home. As we go on, we remember all the times we had together.